Then we're gonna start with a joke or anything. Tom Freund, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a hand. the youngest, so I'm going to start with a song about uh, turning 27, something I did three years ago.
Thank you very much. Um, right out of high school, I had lots of different jobs, but one one job I had that uh, I want to recommend this to anybody: never work for your girlfriend's dad. <laughs> Ben's mobile station, pumping gas, and then it, what made it worse is that I, I decided that uh, I wanted to step up, and I, I, so I took a job at the Skelly station at the competition, and I was uh, here I am, you know, building our future. Love decides she's gonna go to college and went away and got married and she and my friend Tommy were good friends. And uh, Tommy uh, did a um, an impression of Elvis Presley for me one time. This story has no <laughs> it's aimless and pointless without a payoff. So don't, you know, don't be. And so Tommy was, uh, he was a great friend of mine too. And they both drift in and out of my life. Uh, I think uh, more uh, this girl in dreams and Tommy shows up at my door. So, and he was uh, uh, quite a funny guy, really twisted sense of humor. And he did an impression for me of Elvis Presley when uh, we were about 13 or 14 on the piano, he sang Are You Lonesome Tonight, which disturbed me then. And uh, he has this uh, demented resemblance to Donny Osmond with a John Waters mustache, which I forgot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, every time I sing this song, I think about them both. And this is called A Long Way. That was a storyteller. That was good. <laughs>
year sometime and so I'm gonna make y'all be guinea pigs and uh, <laughs> listen to a bunch of new songs and uh, this happens to be one of them and it's uh, it's not much of a story to it other than the fact that uh, the truth is always the way you think it is so.
actually recorded not an album this one is not recorded it's just a brand new song um, for about 15 this isn't really typical of those songs it's just the dumbest one and uh, <laughs> one with the uh, most infectious rhythm perhaps and uh, it largely concerned it's largely concerned with the uh, English men's bad dress sense so you can tell it's not exactly a deep emotional psychological saga or anything which I'm known for. Um, there may be some anger in it, I don't know, I haven't really analysed it yet. But it's about uh, how Englishmen, um, when they're at home, and it, it, actually walking down city streets even, they wear um, socks with sandals. You know, like a pair of thong sandals with a bit that cuts between the toes and they wear socks with those and shorts. And they walk around London and shit, you know? And um, they think this is an attractive look. Uh, I'm guilty of it myself. And I actually met someone in Louisville the other day after I'd sung the song and was meeting people afterwards. And he said, hey, look down, Grandma, look down. This guy was wearing socks and sandals. So I guess it's maybe even a universal thing that I'm singing about. Um, what else? Well, that's about it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Socks and sandals. I know why you love me, baby. I don't know why you care. Losing my memory, I'm losing my hair. I lost my car keys around here somewhere. How do you feel? Make sure I'm stuck to that shit. Suburbs and wearing bad clothes. Barbecue and hot dogs and keeping a clean nose. My best friend's a hillbilly with a moonshine still. Actually, I'm lying, he's an accountant named Bill. So I don't know why you love me, baby, I don't know why you care. Socks and sandals, that's what I wear. Socks and sandals. As I hold on to your love hand rules. Socks and sandals. Lined up on my mantle Fishing a pond and one of them's a fantail One of those clocks with the rays like the sun I eat my dinner with my raincoat on So I don't know why you love me, baby I don't know why you care Socks and sandals, that's what I wear Socks and sandals As I can rip on to your love handle Socks and sandals Chair in the evening, yeah. I sit right there. So I don't know why you love me, baby. I don't know why you care. Socks and sandals, that's what I wear. Socks and sandals. As I hold on to your love and rules. Socks and sandals. Sandals ain't rock and roll. 
This uh, big instrument here. If I got a little more. about Vermont. started about that. It was an environmental plea to not bring in any malls, etc., into your county. <clears throat> then, as usually happens, somewhere along with my songs, it turns into a song about a relationship. So this went started from there, and then uh, became about uh, me and a gal. And uh, it's called uh, "If You Don't Like the Digs, You Can Find Someplace Else." Funky. 
the avocado, bro. <laughs> Guacamole, baby. As the sun burns down my old town, so many miles away, nothing ever changes, and nothing stays the same. Young love takes the old road out to where young love is quite naive, and I will never Oh, 
Standing right beside you, take a teardrop from your eye. Young love takes the old road out to where young love's still quite naive. Well, I remember you. Do you remember me? Oh, I think I found your rose red. Where the black top turns to dust Where the engines of our destiny run Silent in their rust Where the spirits of our eyes Spirits of our idle youth, oh, they have no ways will go wild to find the truth. They hold out high on the people. Foster and Lloyd. Right. Well, somebody remembers, all right. And uh, uh, Jeff actually mentioned this song about halfway through this And somebody else did uh, the other night, so I decided I'd start doing it. Um, when I was in that band, Je uh, Bill Lloyd used to always say that I wrote uh, rodeo songs the same way that uh, Brian Wilson wrote. Uh, surfing songs. Brian Wilson never surfed and I never rode rodeo and it was kind of that. But I always took that as a compliment. But Brian Wilson wrote some damn good surfing songs. So, um, so anyway, here's an old foster one. Oh. 
buckle hanging there on your belt. And that's good to say. That's when I recorded it. Um, and, <laughs> uh, yeah, this song's from 12 Wanted Episodes I'm going to attempt here. I've normally been doing uh, another song from that album. Now, that, that whole record was in a, um, over G tuning, and uh, I'm not going to mess with that, so I figured out a way of doing uh, this song. Um, is this it? I don't know, shit. <laughs> Could be, okay. I know, I did this once on the tour, I think it was probably Nashville or somewhere. That seems like about a year ago now. What the hell is Been a long time down the tunnel here. Um, but, oh, okay, this one's... Oh, you probably know somebody like this. We're all friends here. I know most people by their first name, right? So it doesn't matter if I fuck up. But, and there's Richard over there, and you know, Jim's here. Boutros Boutros is here somewhere, so an old friend of mine, real old Jersey character. <laughs> I was thinking of calling my son Boutros Boutros, actually. I really thought of it. I was considering Boutros Boutros Parker. I thought that'd be that kind of power name. It's got a ring to it. Yeah. All right, okay, I know how to go with this one. Force of Nature, this one's called. Yeah. 
source Every last new device Gravity is lost The computer's connected Directly to the stars Keeps her emotions It makes her jars Start in the attic In the roof in the sky Up in the rafters Where the bats fly friend of mine out there who's about 30 something and uh, she just uh, this year contacted her real mother uh, overseas in England and it was uh, needless to say a, a very heavy journey for her so this is a song I wrote pertaining to that
I inquire whether or not a person south of the Mason or Dixon line down there could get some biscuits and gravy. Maybe some grits. And really, you would have thought, well, yeah, I do. I try to. Just in case you want to take a Saturday. Officer Arafat had walked into that place and laid a gun on the counter or something. They came at me from both sides. And she put her hand on her body. And she said, We are an authentic New York style delicatessen. We don't serve biscuits and gravy. I said, I'm eating a piece of ham here. Huh? Pretend we're in a bar. Forget about the records for now. Think about the booze, the music. Look at the beautiful women in here. Look at the good looking fellas. Let's just take it to that place. Okay? Are you with me? Lydia, can I have a double shot of Hennessy, please? No, I don't want any cinnamon sprinkled on top. Wow. You guys got that stuff poured. I don't need the napkin. And I need a cocktail napkin. What are you talking about? So, can I take you up to Kansas City with me for a couple minutes? walk outside the town top of Hamburger Stand on Broadway and you walk all the way around the world and be careful when you do you're gonna come to the town top of Hamburger Stand on Baltimore Street they share the same dumpster in the same parking lot and the same bad disposition and the woman that works behind the counter up there about this getting back to her. But she looks exactly like Lyndon Johnson. <laughs> so it's a love song. They got hamburgers, fries, no made pies, and a waitress behind the counter. The big city halls with the cigarette bombs and a jukebox in the corner. Broadway bound, it's a real strange town. They keep the jazz and the cattle quiet. It's the Baltimore Street where the famished folks meet and the late night patrons are riot. Fry it! Time top it tonight now, baby. Time top it tonight. Time top it tonight now, baby. Time top it tonight. Exhausted. 
I've been a cat out by with my feet on the ground and I had a good time but I lost it and I don't try some don't try for fun I've been trying for years to be bad it's a look right here look right in the mirror it's a clone on its own Cheeseburger, please, with extra onions. And I'd like to order a hash browns with that. And I'm gonna need a cup of coffee and a fork. And I'm gonna need change for the phone and the pinball machine and the jukebox and the vending machine and the bathroom. And I'm gonna need a butter knife and one of those little jellies. And you got some of those little assorted fruit jelly. I like the grape too. And you know how you take a your hot dog and you split it down the middle and you put it on a griddle and you fry it up and then you put it on a hamburger bun and then you put some chili on it and it's like a chili dog but it's like a hamburger too i want one of those and i'm gonna need for you to get me uh, an ashtray and a glass of water and a diet pepsi and some sweet milk and a spoon and i'd like for you to tell there's a Tell this silly son of a bitch sitting there down at the end of the counter that's been trying to talk to me and ask me stupid questions. And if he don't quit talking to me and asking me stupid questions, then me and him are gonna go toe to toe out in the goddamn parking lot. soft serve vanilla ice cream on top to make it a la mode I would be thanking you for that and if you could levitate that ice cream about a foot and a half above that pie baby I'd appreciate it somebody call me a cab Where are you? 
people. I think it's a free ride, baby. to do after that song. Don't play any jazz, man. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, I was raised in West Texas, and uh, uh, my grandfather drove a uh, LTD Ford automobile that was as long as Korea. And uh, when I was about 12 years old, uh, I had pretty much convinced him that uh, he needed to teach me how to drive the car, and, and so... Um, which I don't think I ever told my parents. And, uh, so he decided he'd take me to town and went from the ranch to, to town. Uh, and I drove on that big old automobile. Sure enough, we got there in one piece. And my granddad handed me a $20 bill. And I don't know whether that was a bribe not to tell my parents that I'd driven a car or whether he was just thankful to be alive. I'm not sure that's anyone. I think it was one of the two. But anyway, this is a song about that kind of and two-tone cowboys. Said, son, here you go, as he handed me a 20 just to see the look on my face. He said, don't tell your mama nothing about it. Don't spend it all in one place. You see, it takes folding money to get the deal done. Folding money to have a little fun. Folding money to pay a few bills. Eat a steak, dinner, or care a couple lils. Some green back dollars, cool hard cash. Save it for a rainy day or throw away a little bit. Son, it takes folding money to get the deal done. But now, ever since the day I learned to earn a dollar, I've been taking his advice to heart. Cause when a man finds the courage to keep his cash, some romance is bound to start. Now romance is just like money, but you can always get more if you've got it. Man, let me tell you, friends, I'm a lot more handsome with a C note in my pocket. You see, it takes falling money to get the deal that I am. Falling money to have a little fun. Falling money to pay a few bills. Take a girl dancing or cure a couple of bills. Falling money, you need a little staff, some green back dollars, a cool hard cash. Save the gold cool rainy day or throw away a little bit, son. Takes falling money to get the deal done. Now it's a pain in the back. 
fact, it's a cold hard fact. Gets to everybody sooner or later. Or you can give it to a charity and to some disparity or stock up your refrigerator. Or you can marry it or pet it, it'll kill you if you let it. You can blow it with an iron to show. It'll make you wild and fatter, but the truth of the matter's keen. Take it with you when you go. Better spend a little foul in money to get the deal done. Foul in money to have a little fun. Foul in money to pay a few bills. Spread a little around, let it cure a couple of ill. Foul in money, you need a little stash. Some green bag dollars, a cup hard cash. Save it for a rainy day or throw away a little bit takes folding money to get the deal done. It takes folding money. It takes folding money. Folding money. today. I just feel like uh, doing something different from last night. Otherwise it kind of gets to be like a job. <laughs> this isn't work, you know that, right? It's got nothing to do with work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll try something from Mona Lisa's sister here. Back in time. Let's try that one. Your mind when you try to go back in time. It's all the 
Well, Graham inspired me there, but instead of going uh, back into my catalog, which there is none, uh, this next song hopefully will be on my next record. Um, yeah, lo always looking forward. Show. 
next B note right there. Okay, there we go. Uh, Y'all have been in that in first in love stage where, uh, you know, it's like, you breathe, I breathe too. <laughs> We've all been there. Uh, this song was written about one of those kinds of the, one of those kind of dilemmas. And it's called. Uh, I've had the good fortune of having Aubra Moore, who's a great singer songwriter. If you don't know her, she, uh, yeah. she sang background vocals. Love doesn't come with a contract.
Yeah, um, I don't know, songwriting. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes it gets harder as you get older, I think. The brain gets much mushier. You know, you're not as good as when you're, you know, before you're 30. I think that's a fact, for me anyway. And uh, I don't know about, I can't speak for other songwriters really, but, you know, songwriting is, um, it's a bitch. Um, it's like, you know, you go from extreme highs of feeling like some kind of godlike creature, you know, to these real lows of feeling like, you know, something ant-like, I think. And, um, but, you know, for me, luckily you just touch those things now and again, so, you know, you don't want to be in the godlike place for too long, which would be a real pain in the neck, you know. Not many pop stars are pains in the neck, they're, they're really all great people. <laughs> Have you ever eaten one? Okay, yeah. So anyway, when I, you know, write something that sort of come, <laughs> seems to do something, you know, a bit more than what I'm normally writing, which I just chuck away, you know, I say thank you God, thank you so bloody much, thank you. Save me, I can save my ass with that one. Uh, and this one's got that kind of thing when I wrote this, and this is off uh, Acid Bubblegum album. And I, uh, I felt pretty good about it. It's non-specific, it's got edge, it's got, um, in other words, it's like bullshit, sort of, trussed up to sound like something profound, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is really a trick, you know. That's what we do anyway. That's what we do, yeah. yeah. But it isn't a trick that you can find in a book or do over and over again. It's you have to sort of work in it, suddenly this trick pops out at you, you know. Right? Yeah, look at him like you. Man, reach on. Get I'm this sold. guy out of here. Just get that umbrella around his neck. You sold me. I'm sold. I'm t completely sold on it. You sold me. Yeah, you sold me. <laughs> it covers us all. <laughs> okay, you've got like act like beings. But you know what? I should say this even before you start. I think I can speak on everybody's behalf that we've been out maybe five or six shows. I think we've done half a dozen, something like that. Six or eight, seven. I can't remember the Hennessy, man. You know, it's the Hennessy. Yeah, it's like every night. Yeah. 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 We're drinking yeah. bottle after bottle. <laughs> I'm hooked on it. <laughs> and uh, it is just an honor to share the stage Absolutely. with you, Mr. Yeah. 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 That goes all the way around. These guys are fucking fantastic. They're really great songwriters. Everybody here is having fun. You really enjoy working with each other. You're having a good time. Now let's sharpen some axes.
shower in action Till I got the shabbiest too Watch it all run amok now Watch those idiots score Till you can't remember The parody it's anymore I can't access information match ring please uh it always sounds funny we see fifth round anyway uh that song got me amped it got me on a high amp fuse and i brought my distortion pedal and i'm feeling now that it was for a reason and uh all right dude this time you feeling that yeah okay all right okay let me breathe uh this one's called uh north american long weekend and uh i could just say it was sparked by uh being in Los Angeles, in general, <clears throat> trying to get away for July 4th weekend, and the Unabomber had uh, LAX sewed up tight. People were leaving in droves, the masses with coolers and beers, and not knowing what the hell they were celebrating, as no one really does anymore on 4th of July. It's just kind of a sludge fest. And uh, this was about that, being, uh, being stuck in LA trying to get to a, a decent place like Austin. And that's nothing against LA, of course. Still love LA. So here it goes. Oh 
shrines above the road of things we can never measure up to. And all is failing, it lost feelings tell. Vermont Boulevard is bleeding in the sun. North American long weekend is finally taking its toll. What do we live for to see what we can buy?
chips of fate. But nowadays, what makes a picture seem real are the simpler versions and not complicated. Thanks for the brushes, man. I'll see you next year. So let's roll. Like Jeff said, it was a pleasure to be here. Thank y'all again for coming out. But uh, uh, I think this is the first time I've ever played in, in this cooler record store. I, 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 it's not a record store. It's a bar. It's a bar. It's a bar. <laughs> serving, whiskey, serving brown whiskey in here in the sea people are. It's French whiskey, but it's whiskey. I put out an album in 1992 called Delria, Texas, 1959. This song was on it. This song taught me a lot. Songs will do that. I mean, you write them down in your living room and they start taking on lives of their own and they start meaning things to other people all together than what you intended when you wrote it. And um, I think sometimes they even see into the future and start meaning something different to you after a while. Um, but in any case, uh, I had the, one of those magical moments where uh, we cut the demo to the song and the record company heard the demo and said, well, that's the record. And I went, it is? He said, yeah, it is. And it was.
song was uh, inspired by a city, in a city. Paris, 1971, I thought it was 72, but it's 71 now, think about it. The first line of this uh, meaning song, American Girl, with a spine that's stuck in my head there. Manhattan baby with a sing-song voice. About five years later, I visited New York for the first time as a professional musician. By 1977, I completed the song that started in Paris in 1971. Yeah. And of course, if you want to join in, it just goes to the New York Shuffle, baby. Get up top, get up top. Manhattan, baby, with a sing song voice, she got a place in the human zoo. Went to live in on the boulevard, now that the revolutions do. She said, I've been around from a town to town, and I learned to love and hate. Time don't change down to you and me, baby, just get hurt. Grab the gun before the police come down Tell me you're too sweet Down and out of there hitching hard And I'm as strong as the law would be The burning flags hit a just in dragging And it sure is a sight to see And do the New York shuffle Every New York scuffle Learn to stay awake all night
Thank you. 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 Thank you.